I'm going to teach you how to fight the three Drake bosses in Blackwing Lair with no threat ceiling. A lot of the Drake and Dragon bosses in Classic WoW have a Wing Buffet ability. Wing Buffet is a frontal cone ability that knocks back and cuts current threat in half for every player that it hits. That's right, a 50% threat reduction. Outside of full resets like Vanish or Feign Death, this is about as good as it gets. I've been using this in Blackwing Lair on the three Drakes and I found it very helpful for my Fury Warriors threat. The clip I'm about to show you is from a recent raid we did. One notable thing is that all three of our tanks had lost world buffs on either Broodlord or Fire Maw. And, since this was a Darkmoon Fair week, the DPS warriors were pumping even harder than normal. What happens with most raid groups is an off tank or two will taunt the Drake before the wing buffet goes out. That way it won't hit the main tank. If you're looking to get hit by the wing buffet yourself, you'll need to get in front of the Drake to get hit by it. Here's how I do it. I know that our Taran warrior Bones is going to taunt for the wing buffet. I see the Wing Buffet cast begin and quickly move to get right in front of him. Imagine Wing Buffet like a mage casting Cone of Cold. It's a frontal cone ability, like the slice of a pie. The mistake that some people make is trying to run in too big of a circle around the boss to get in front of the cone. This isn't necessary. I run through the red targeting circle and get right in front of the boss. This is me right here. What I didn't do is run around the boss like this. I probably wouldn't have made it in time. My warrior is standing where the drake wouldn't breathe on him in a realistic setting. He's too close. The drake's head is above and past me. But the cone likely looks something like this, coming out from the center of the boss's body. Then I get hit by the buffet, knocked back, and intercept back in, losing probably one second of melee time on the boss and spending a little bit of rage and a global cooldown to intercept. And the payoff? A 50% reduction to my current threat. With this method, I'm able to successfully eat wing buffets about 90% of the time, and all I need to do is soak one or two of these on a drake to not have to worry about threat at all. This is amazing for horde warriors. We don't raid with Blessing of Salvation like Alliance warriors, and even if you have a Shaman Totem twisting Tranquil Air, at best you get a 20% threat reduction. You might not need this on a rogue or an Alliance warrior, but I think it's a useful tool that every melee DPS should know how to make use of. Hell, casters could even do this if they wanted to. They'd lose a decent amount of time casting to soak one of these, but it might be worth it if the threat ceiling is that low. Before I end the video, a few words of caution. One, always make sure you know what you're getting knocked back towards. Don't be the guy that pulls something on the other side of the room. And two, make sure you know it's a wing buffet before jumping in front of the boss. I've noticed sometimes DBM timers are off and these drakes will sneak in a shadow flame and then do the wing buffet. You do not want to jump in front of a shadow flame. Thank you for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to watch me in real time, I stream on Twitch every Monday, Tuesday, and Friday, and I have a link below for my Discord server. Until next time, happy gaming.